Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and I'm very excited to introduce to you our latest model, the Gemba Red Beam. So this is obviously our little smaller, portable, super affordable uh, red light therapy panel. So it's super, super portable, super small, and packs quite a punch. So this is a 20 watt rated light. Um, so, you know, we've got higher intensity bulbs and uh, as the name implies, we use a 10 degree beam angle lens. So that kind of focuses the beam, makes it, you know, kind of shoot out in more of a linear pattern so that way you get less light wasted off to the sides and it, you know, goes where you want to go and it travels, keeps that intensity, you know, over a longer distance. So uh, you can definitely, you know, check the product page. We're getting this, you know, professionally measured out so you know the intensity at different distances so that way you know you know, the, the, the precise kind of timing of what distance to use, how long to use it. Um, but it's really great kind of addition to your red light situation. Um, can take it more on the go, more on travel um, with this hardy little case. It's got kind of a, you know, little uh, prop so you can kind of set it upright. Sometimes it kind of stands a little bit more straight if you put it like this. And then uh, we'll just turn it on and take a quick look. So you can see the beam kind of shines, projects the light like really straight. Um, so you can kind of prop it up on a table and you can see it's, it's probably brightening up my face quite a bit. Uh, even at this distance, it's maybe a foot. Um, so we can get like really good intensity, really tight um, control over where the light's going. So that's really nice. It keeps it super efficient in like a very compact form. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, obviously you can travel around, very, very, very solid metal case, um, just a standard power cord, uh, nothing too fancy, but we, you know, deliver more on the value, which is the light and the intensity and the effectiveness, and not so much with the fancy features like switches and Bluetooth and things like that. Um, you can see it's all red. Um, Unlike most of my other products, this is an all red panel. Uh, we have to do it that way just for the type of this type of panel that this is. Um, you can only use kind of one one type of light. So red is very effective. This is the 660 nanometer. I mean, there are studies that kind of they try to compare 660 to like 830. Uh, there's studies that try to compare the two, the infrared versus the deep red, and sometimes they don't even find a significant difference. They, uh, that 660 um, is very powerful and highly utilized on its own. You can check out our blog post. Uh, there are hundreds of studies that use 660 nanometer um, on its own. So it's very popular, uh, very effective just on its own. Um, you know, we can do kind of a quick measurement on uh, the intensity. We'll take another look at our solar power meter, which I'm not a huge fan of this meter for accuracy, but uh, like I always say, it's, it's good to kind of give you a good swag of the intensity. And maybe we'll, we'll center it a little bit more. And uh, let me prop this up so we get a better reading. So, just going to line it up and uh, see what we get. Just one second. So yeah, if you zoom in, you might be able to see um, it's reading 284. So 284 watts per meter squared. When you convert that to milliwatts per centimeter squared, you're getting 28 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So you can already see if, uh, if you follow with, along with Gemba Red and uh, some of our products and the intensity, um, we're at 28 with this guy, and then if I pop in the Gamba Red Groove panel right around here, we can see, you know, it's dropping down to around 10. So we go from 28 with this little guy to 10 with the bigger guy. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the theory with, with me, is if you go for a smaller light, you know, a smaller area of coverage, you can increase kind of that intensity. So that way, 
because you have less coverage, you want an equivalent amount of total joules. And a lot of people don't talk about like the total joules, they only talk about intensity, but you wanna know the kind of the coverage area and the total joules that you're getting as long, you know, as well as intensity, time, and dosage in joules per centimeter squared. All these are important factors, including total joules, which is kind of the coverage. And uh, a lot of people don't take that into account. So they say, oh, a laser does 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared, but that's one small point. If you wanna saturate your whole body with the intensity of a laser, that doesn't really track with me, like because you have to normalize for over the whole area, which which is the total joules. Um, so if you research more about that, like it's kind of a weird rabbit hole. Uh, so we have a little bit higher intensity, and obviously, like the cool thing is, we can kind of move it pretty, you know, further out, and you'll still see. Make sure it's lined up. And we're still at 15. You know, and it's not even lined up, so we're at 17 uh, milliwatts per centimeter squared, and that's still at about 9 inches. So even with that extra distance, not, you know, 9 extra, you know, 9 inches, you know, we're still getting up around 17. Like I said, this isn't great. Make sure you check the website for the most accurate uh, numbers. I think the the website will be showing a much lower number than this, so that's always a precaution. This reads falsely high, um, so it can kind of lead a lot of people astray, and I think it leads a lot of um, other companies and manufacturers astray with how they advertise, so I get my panels professionally measured, and uh, usually comes out a little bit lower, and that makes it a little bit more challenging for me to market and advertise my products because I'm trying to compare to people who use um, something like this. Anyway, that's a side note. Um, so we took took a look at that. Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, electric fields again. We'll pop it over to the electric field reading, and uh, we'll get it. We'll just check it pretty close. Obviously, you don't need. You know, the cool thing about the beam is that you don't need to use it close. Um, but we'll see how this works out. If you can, if we can balance. Okay, so it's balancing. We'll bring it right up to it. So we're pretty, almost on it. And I don't hear any change in clicking. Uh, we're seeing about 57 volts per meter. So 57, like right up on on the panel. It bumps up to 63 as I get closer. Uh, so that's really good. And obviously with any amount of distance that we add, let's say a couple, let's just do a couple inches. Any amount of distance, you know, you start to drop off, so that's that's good. With the magnetic field, I do notice on this on this particular guy a little bit higher with the magnetic field. So I bring it up close, and it bumps up to one thirty one. I think in a previous um, uh, in a previous YouTube video, I, I did the conversion wrong. So this is in nano tesla, which you convert by 100 to get to milligauss. So this is 1.3 milligauss. So, um, so that's a conversion. I think you get a little bit more with the milligauss because it's such a high powered, it's 20 watts contained into one little unit. Um, so you'll get a little bit higher on the milligauss. I think if you bring it right up on it, I get closer to like three milligauss. So if you're right up on it, uh, near the power driver, you're going to get closer to three. Um, and like I said, you can check the website for the latest kind of data. So, 
again, it's really good, really handy. Small profile. You can compare it to our, you know, one of our current panels. This is our groove, and you can see it's it's about the quarter of the size. But like I said, the groove is about 45 watt rated uh, for the LEDs, and this is about 20 watts. So you can get, you know, we get a lot more bang out of this little guy because it's 20 watts crammed packed into a smaller panel and you're using the focusing lenses to get more distance out of it. Again, this is more your go-to if you want good coverage, um, you know, use it up close, use it pretty conveniently, you know, you can get all that coverage in one, in one shot. Whereas with this guy, you know, you get more of a spot treatment. It's more kind of a, a supplement or a travel kind of helpful kind of guy. So you got some more choices on the market. This guy's going to be a lot more uh, affordable now, so that's that's a really great kind of option to get get you started if you are new to the industry. You're not sure where you want to try first. This is going to probably be still more effective because you can use it up close, use it comfortably, use it for a long period of time, and uh, you know we've already gotten a lot of great results out of our bigger panels. So um, this is to kind of keep adding to the industry, keep adding to the, kind of the uh, you know, what you can do with different sizes and different types of lights. Um, there's no one size fits, fits all kind of light. There's no perfect light. You got to find what kind of works best for you. So I think this will work obviously for a lot of people. It'll help me with my travels and uh, I think it's a great option now. So thanks for tuning in and uh, let me know your thoughts and feedback in the comments or you can email uh, gambared at gmail.com. Thank you.